Hi guys, this is Cobra Tom. And Venom Lily. And we are doing the Dollar General ATV with Scope. Here I have the Arrow ATV. This is from like, I think the Dollar General or something because it was, here we go, $5. And it actually came all, all set up. So here you go. You got all this stuff. And it came with a scope with a different type of file card. That's cool. The Arrow ATV thing here. I'm going to be cutting these out because these are bigger, a little nicer. And it came with uh, scope here. And it came with scope stuff. Now, I just put this in the box because this is more just showing you what we got here. So, so it does, even though you don't need it, it does come with assembly instructions, which is really nice because if you get a regular ATV, uh, um, that doesn't have the figure and doesn't come in this bigger box and stuff. This uh, is really nice to uh, be able to see. There's a total of 19 parts in there, it says. Huh. Now, I don't have the uh, figure in there right now. But I do have the figure. Here he is. I never really put him in here because it's kind of hard. Oh, see, it's already un... So that's why I don't like doing it. See, it's hard to get in there. And it kind of separates the things. Yeah. There we go. I do, I do um, actually like these a little better when they're all pre-assembled because uh, I am not very good at this stuff. And there we go. And it's good. Here we go. You can hold on to the yoke. You can make him look like he's driving. There we go, and on we go, and it rolls really nicely, especially, especially the uh, ones that are pre-assembled. I don't know; they must have been just done a little better, or because it's me, it's just done that much better. Yeah, this is cool though. I really do like this. I like the. The guns on top. You can technically, if you kind of go over it, you can go 360 degrees. I wouldn't advise it because I don't want you to break the guns or the pegs. But technically, if you kind of like finagled it like that, I'll see. Well, at least I didn't break it. It's got the guns on top. Very nice. Very nicely painted. Very nice coloring there. This part, I, I, it, it, I mean, it's cool and I like it and all, but it doesn't really move. But that, in a way, you don't really need. And it's got the really nice red and the details and the piping's all painted. On these, that's really nice. You've got the uh, same, but uh, opposite, obviously. A little bit different things, but you got the handlebar here, the piping, the lining. That's all painted. The front end. The front end, too, that stays on much nicer, but it's also got some paint. 
These were painted on the other ones too. These are pretty nice, but these weren't painted at all. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that if I bring it a little closer. This part, these ones are painted, but the other one doesn't. I will be giving a comparison video. This has painted paint apps here and here. Bumpers all attached here. That's much nicer. Usually mine are really loose because I didn't get it in quite right. And as for the figure and the accessories, everything is the same. It's absolutely the same, but I will go over it in just a moment. So on the, on this, they've got his origin here. I don't know if I, there we go. I can zoom it in. So here we have the Arrow ATV Battle Ready. And uh, it says once upgraded with Battle Ready weapons and armor pack, the Arrow ATV instantly strikes fear into the heart of the Karn. Weapons provide a powerful high rate of fire and armor makes the Arrow ATV the ultimate assault vehicle. And then here we go, we've got Scope's thing. Origin, Mountains of East Asia. A long range specialist, Scope has the ability to keep all targets on the battlefield in his sights. Scope provides lethal cover fire for Alpha Team and always hits his mark. Weapon of choice, Scope is a master long range weapon of long range weapons using his tech rifle stormwatch explosive rounds scope can always bring the rain and i remember kind of thinking that that was funny when that was a good uh a joke but a good thing here and then it'll show here i will back that out a little bit so this is the exact same thing but it comes with stormwatch sidearms and backpack so here's stormwatch really nice gun and i will show you that oh where did i put him <laughs> well i will show you this in just a second here all right so here is the scope figure and here are his weapons so you've got the Stormwatch, which is a very nicely, highly detailed weapon with a pump. So I think this is an underslung shotgun. And the uh, top part is the sniper rifle. Because I believe that the rounds um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure though that this part is a shotgun because it's got the pump handle. And then here's your cocking handle for the top part, for the sniper part. So uh, this actually might be the part for the, for the shotgun because it goes into here and then you would put the, you would put a round where, pretty much where the cocking handle is. You'd put one here, and then you'd do all of your things, sight it in and get everything, and then it would fire. So there you go. That's really neat, though. I really like that this has got a scope on it. And then I see um, backstop. Nice slide for the uh, shell to come out. That's really nice. It's good detail. I could, uh, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I could take that out, but I'm not going to. The shell would come out of here. So yeah, very nice. I don't know very much about guns, but I do know a little bit. Here's his slight, well, it's got a very nice backpack. 
uh, nothing on the back. But there really doesn't need to be because you're going to be plugging it into the back hole anyway, so you probably wouldn't see it. It's got slightly, it's got some marginal detailing, but it's not. It's, but it, you know, this is a dollar twenty-five, you know, kind of thing. So here's, it's got a strap. And then on the side, it's got like a, like opens up like a briefcase kind of thing. That's cool. I like that. It's a very, it's a very nice, it's a very nice backpack. Plug it in the back here. Stays in real well. No, nothing falls out. Put the gun, oh, 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 put the gun in the right way. That would help. It never falls out. And the things, although I have a little trouble, that could just be me. Because my hands aren't, I don't have very dexterous hands. But I sometimes have, now I have trouble. And it probably falls out because I don't have very good dexterity. So sometimes I have them falling out. But I think I got them in that they're not going to fall out. So there we go. He's got his pistols. I'll show you one because I'm like 99.99% sure that they're exactly the same. And they're really small. Not a whole lot of detail. I will try to put this so that you can see it. So it, it is nice. You get two, two hand, um, yeah, handguns. You get the big rifle. You get a backpack that works. And if I do it right, which I don't always do, mind you, it slides in and holds perfectly. So that is really nice. Tip top figure. Wonderful thing. And then on the side here, it gives you it gives you what it, it what it else it's got, but you can kind of figure that out. It's got the dual guns that swivel. That's these top ones. This one that's on the back. The bumper. The side shields. So you got the automated artillery guns, which are these two. The brocade bumper, which I believe is this one. Gatling blaster. Oh, uh, no, I'm, oh, okay. All right, I did that wrong. The bumper is obviously this. I don't know what I was thinking, barricade bumper. These are the automated artillery guns. These are the Gatling guns that spin, which actually makes sense. Here are the engine guards and the deflector. So very nice. It comes all pre-assembled. You don't even have to do anything with it. The file card is really nice. So it's really cool. Well, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.